Hello and welcome to this special tutorial because today it's a Volumentrix user who is going to explain us his technique to make an animation like this one. Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to create a treadmill in After Effects with a plugin Volumentrix. First, create a comp. Then, create a shape using the rounded rectangle tool. And this shape will be our treadmill. We are going to use the plugin Volumetric. To do this treadmill, we are going to choose this direction. It could also be this direction. Let me show you the difference. If I set to this direction and click do the trick with volume set to 100, you will see that this happened. If I set the direction to be this one, you will see that this happened. And as you can see, there are also a lot of controls in the effects panel that allow you to, to move your shape like this or in other sense, in the other direction. So for the moment, let's set this to zero. So that's the classic isometric view. To make it look like a treadmill, I'm going to stroke and I will set the, the stroke to be made out of dashes. So here we have dashes, we click the plus button, we can also click again to find the gap button because we will set the gap to be 5. To make, me, to make it look like it's, this treadmill is animating, we are going to, to use the offset and as you can see, as I'm moving the offset, it looks like already that the treadmill is moving mechanically, but it, it is just an illusion. Okay, we have our treadmill. Now our preview might be a little bit slower because we have a lot of ellipses. And these ellipses have been extruded by the Volumetrix plugin. Okay, now we can move on with the next part of the tutorial. Let's create a new comp. This comp we'll call it main comp. It has the same properties as, as the other comps. Let's import the first gift. All these files, you will find this in the description. Let's type the gift patterns number one. And we will use again Volumetrix. Let's, let me show you something now with Volumetrix. As you saw before with the treadmill, we can change the direction of the gift, we can change the volume. So let's first set this to zero. Let's set the volume to zero. We can also choose the orientation, but we are not going to use this because this is mostly uh, useful when, when you use text or uh, very specific shapes. Okay, let's use this, this direction, this direction first. And I click do the trick. And as you can see, this is the direction that it's taking. I'm clicking here, that's the other direction. I can set the volume, but our gift looks like it's been, um, it's laying on the side. So it doesn't look so good for us. That's not what we want. We want the gift to look like it's laying down on the floor. So that would be the correct position here. I'm clicking this direction. I'm setting the volume to 100. And I will also click here, pre-comp and crop. So now our gift will be placed in a new comp. We can also, if we want, we can undo this action by clicking this icon, that's called Reflash Layer. So this will bring back our gifts to the main comp. So we want it to be in the, in the pre-comp, so I will do the trick again. Okay, now I will also set the pivot rotation to be 55, I mean 25, sorry. So all the GIFs do not look like orientated the same way. And this will look more realistic and enjoyable to see. Okay. Now I will skip the next part because it might be repetitive for you. So what you want to do is import all the GIFs one by one and do the same step every time. So click this icon 
volume set to 100, light fall off, we don't want it because this will just create a, an illusion of shadow. I can show you if you want, let's see, light fall off, do the trick. As you can see, what we see is an illusion of shadow. We can also change the light angle. But as we want the colors to be very bright and, and vivid, we will disable this and do the trick with precomp and crop enabled again and I click do the trick. And here we are. So see you in the next part where I will have all the gifts created in the same comp. Hey, welcome back. So we have just created all our gifts and for the moment I will disable it so we can focus on the animation. What we will do is go in the timeline again, select this layer, the gift layer, and we use this option in the volumetrix panel. So let's click this and you will see that this, this is getting very interesting now because we can move the gift from right to left and still it's moving on the, on the isometric uh, directions. Let's add uh, one keyframe on obj x and that will be our location for the gift. We'll set it to 90. So let's go back to one second. So this is one second. Let's one keyframe to minus 90. So you see that this is now, it looks like it's following, it's, it's laying down on the treadmill, but then it just stops. And press Alt and click the stopwatch and, and type loop out and parentheses. But this time, this time we're, uh, we're going to type offset. So the animation will be continuing on the same direction. Perfect. So now we will import, we will go forwards and import the other treadmill and do four columns of treadmill with the other gifts. Let's see. Let's use the um, moving backwards treadmill. So this is again another rotation, I mean another direction. We need two things. We need to set the treadmill uh, and the right of this treadmill so we can see it. So to do this very simply, you just select the, the ISO controls and add it to this object. Let's move this object on the z-axis. Let's say that we want to move it up to 3, 3, 3. So here it is. Now you can see that we have both treadmills moving, but the backwards treadmill is stopping after one second. It's because we haven't set for the moment the time remap option. So let's right click on it. Time, enable time remapping. So this is our first keyframe at zero second. Let's go to one second and add another keyframe and we will delete like we did with the other treadmill the last keyframe. So now we need the gift. We will take this one, this gift. So now it looks okay. Okay, we want to work now on this backwards treadmill. One thing, I mean, one thing that we have to do is place ISO controls to all the objects. Now, all our objects are ready to act with an ISO control. So we will add this arrow, now this blue icon. You see, add ISO controls to the scene. This will add a null object. And this null object acts like a controller. You can fake camera movements with it. Let's see, if you're moving on the x-axis, you see that it's moving this way. But we, we don't want this. So we will just move on the Z axis. So what it does, it gives us a clear sight on this treadmill and what they are doing. And here we are, you can make your composition. I mean, you, <laughs> your animation starts here, or maybe you can do a second echo. So you can start from scratch here and you want your animation. Maybe it will be, I don't know, 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds. Sounds like a good duration for, a, for an animation. You can also set the, the background color to something else than black because 
No, it kind of looks like sad, so now that ways, that's way better. And now we can sell it, this, uh, this animation, we can sell it $1 million dollars uh, to Hollywood <laughs> because Volumetrics is just an amazing plugin. These shapes look amazing, so thanks for, for watching and uh, good luck working on this plugin on After Effects. Goodbye. Well, thank you, Nicholas, for your demonstration and your support.